Um, very interesting. So Glorilla, and this happens a lot, right? So Glorilla, right? Glorilla had a show, and I believe this is in the Bay. And this is it. I always tell you about this little finesse. Promoters do this a lot. Some promoters are very slimy. Now, I know this a little bit bit um it more intimately just because I have a friend that's a promoter too. He was asking and trying to book um Glorilla. Now, I'm going to tell you some rates of what Glorilla has been doing, right? Also, before I do that, I got to give you a little bit of game. I think most of you know this, but if I'm repeating it, I'm sorry. Maybe some people don't. So when you get on, and this is why most people don't really give a fuck about getting paid from their music, there's a lot of opportunities to go around and collect these bags of money. You know what I mean? Like, this is why having a hit song is so valuable. You know, Ice Spice is probably getting as much money that she, as she got from her advance check just by going around and, and just twerking for two seconds and told my oh man she in her mood and told my bitch you a month like yes yeah, she's getting some money for that that's really the big part of her career that's where she's gonna get the most money from like most of these people their publishing checks won't come to later uh so it's all about shows now glorilla last year she was in a very interesting spot right where glorilla Maybe was before she dropped her album. She wasn't the biggest all over the place, but every hood bitch fuck with her. So you know what that means for most local promoters? You want to bring her to your club where most hood bitches and just niggas who going to come out to buy bottles are going to be. Because she's not known that in that, you know, nationally, right? Like if you get Kodak Black to come to fucking if, if Kodak Black even comes to do a walkthrough. Or let's say he's do doing a hosting, right? Because you know, let me define these things. So a walkthrough is usually, yo, you come through. Maybe you get on the mic and say what up, but you're not hosting. A uh, walkthrough is just an appearance, right? People usually have different rates. So the cheapest rate is a walkthrough. It usually stipulates you go to the club. You got to be at the club for about an hour. Some might even say two hours. They're going to get you a section. They're going to throw you on the flyer. Who knows? People might love you so much. They're like, oh, shit, I want to see Big Glow. You know what I mean? Like, just you partying with them is worth the price of admission for people, and they're going to come to the club because they get to party with you, right? So that's a walkthrough. That's usually the cheapest rate. So let's say last year for um, Glorilla, right? Glorilla at a point last year, not now, was charging, from what I heard, about like $40,000 um, to kind of... Uh, not for a full-on performance, but but she would come host and she would perform like three songs. Really, all you need at that time, right, last year, all you need is her performing three songs. She only had three songs that was hot. You don't want her performing other shit. So that pretty much, that's her whole performance, so that's easy. So she was going around collecting these $40,000 bags. But here's the thing. Say you don't have 40000 right, but you got 20000 right? She don't want to perform for no uh, or host and and do like two songs for no forty thousand, but she might be like, "Yo, I do a walkthrough." Uh, again, a walkthrough you're supposed to be in the club chilling, whatever, whatever. Even in a hosting, unless agreed, the artists don't got to perform their song. What happens when artists don't go on tour and they do clubs? The club promoters are always trying to finesse a concert because when they're advertising these events, they're essentially saying. Yo, come watch Big Glow perform. They're not telling the truth. We paid her 20 grand or we paid her 30 grand, at least now. So her walkthrough price right now is 30 grand. We paid her 30 grand to chill in the section, drink Casamigos with her bitches, look cute for about two hours and dip. You know what I mean? Maybe she gets on the phone and be like, yo, shout out to all my bad bitches, like something like that. But she's definitely not performing. I'm F-R-E-E, -E, fuck. She's not doing that, right? So a promoter will book that, but on the flyer to get the people to come there because they're charging, who knows, yo, $75 a ticket or maybe $50 a ticket, who knows. Yo, Glorilla performing live. So now the fans is coming there saying, Glorilla fin finna perform. It's, it, it, it's every, and if anybody knows promoters, this is how it goes. So Glorilla goes there. They paid her for the cheapest shit, the walkthrough or the hosting. Now they want her to do a whole show. Now, Glorilla been around the block. What I mean by been, been around the block, she signed to Yo Gotti. Yo Gotti got her 
popping up on tours or shows with Money Back Yo. She performed at Summer Jam. She's performing at these bigger venues where she now, and if you've ever seen her set, she has a performance. She has backup dances, all that. So that's what a performance looks like for her, right? Will she come in the club and sing her song? Yes. But not for 30000 Her profile has been raised. However, clearly what happened is the promoter is trying to finesse, finesse it, saying, yo, damn, you can't perform like a couple of songs? Like, yo, they only pay her to chill. Yo, perform a couple of songs. What does she do? She says no. And here's the thing with artists. which This happened to young M.A. at one point, too. An artist sometimes get finessed on that type of shit because the artist is going to be seen as the bad guy. Nobody's going to look at the promoter and say, why did you lie to us? They're going to say, damn, yo, Glorilla, like I've been supporting your music all this time. You came here and you don't perform. You're fucked up. So that's how they usually pressure the artist into performing. But for the majority of artists, they got to put they got to put their foot down because put it like this. And y'all all know it. If everybody could take if one person takes advantage of you especially when you come from certain environments everybody gonna take advantage of you so you got to put your foot down so basically if the word gets around that yo really she wants fifty thousand, or i don't know at this point because you, look, look how many people don't show her love she was just showing beyonce maybe she wants sixty thousand to perform three songs so three songs and a hosting three songs and a hosting 60 bands but she'll do a walkthrough for an hour Right? She'll do a walkthrough for an hour for 30 bands. Now, the promoter's like, man, I'm not paying her no 60. I'm going to get the walkthrough for an hour, and then I'm going to try to finesse her, throw the mic in her hand to see if she's going to perform. She's going to kind of feel pressure because her fans are there. But she put her foot down like, yo, bro, if I let this go now, I ain't never going to get that 60 bands that I'll command to perform in a hosting. And now it's going to fuck up my, my real show money, which maybe she gets, I don't know, 80000 at this point. Who knows? So she basically walks out. She probably stayed for an hour, and then she walked the fuck out. Obviously, the promoter is probably telling the DJ to kind of, like, you know, gas it up. Like, yo, she about to perform. Everybody thinks she's about to perform. She doesn't perform. And while walking out, this happens. Sorry, sorry. I can't even see shit. My bad. My bad. So essentially, this is when she's walking they out. They threw water at Gorilla when she came to Oakland. So clearly her and her entourage is leaving the club. I guess these they're mad now. Like, what the fuck? Like, yo, I probably paid a hundred thousand. Who knows what the promoter charge these people? Yo, what the fuck? You're not gonna perform? They probably think, oh, she's acting like uppity and shit like that. She has a right to leave, right? Because she's not contracted to do that. Two water at Gorilla. Let me see if I can she came to Oakland. find the point. It looks like they're walking down here. Okay. I think she's right here. here this, this is Glorilla. Okay, I see some water shit, but I don't know if it's really thrown on her. Regardless, I'm here to defend Big Glow. Um, she did actually say something. Um, she says, ain't no hoe. Um, I don't even know what this is. Something on shit. Ask that hoe how her face feel, though. No way I'm performing when you paid for a hosting. Okay, so it was a hosting. So in a hosting, you usually, and it's usually contracted, it stipulates if you have to perform a song or two. A lot of times people will be like, do a hosting, perform one song or two songs, right? Um, Clearly, it's just a hosting, no performance, right? She says, you know what you think I'm performing when you paid for hosting Crazy Tail Self? And she says, I'm so mad I can get sued for slapping you hoes, but you hoes can still get slapped, bitch. Okay? Yeah. Uh, Yo Gotti kind of chimed in. 
By the way, if you think Yogati didn't look at what P just did, and he ain't he ain't trying to set up CMG to get his three hundred million payday, you're crazy. So he uh, he posted this to show this. The he says this is how a big glow show looks. Sold the fuck out, and it's hard tickets from Ticketmasters. Okay, the difference between hard ticket and soft ticket is that yo usually you'll see some people who ain't lit. They never, you never see their name on the marquee where, you know, it's, you're not going out to see them in concert. You usually go to a club. The club is going to have people anyway, and they're performing at the club. That's a soft ticket. A soft ticket is, okay, you sold out the club, but bitches want to twerk and niggas want to party. It's the weekend. They probably were going to the club without you going there. Like, yeah, you're an added incentive, but they're, if they showed up, they're not only there for you. While a hard ticket is, if you show up here, you're only here for Big Glow. Anyway, let's um and 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 this is what he said. Know the difference between a show and a walkthrough, right? Big Glow, big production, big everything. And he said San Francisco love. Okay, let's see how her show looks though. <laughs> Hey, it is what it is. Also, here's the funny thing, and this is just the truth. Yo, Glorilla's price is going up constantly. So she got to be a stickler. Like, for example, who knows? They might have booked her four months ago for the show that happened. Four months ago, Glorilla wasn't as hot as she is today. Six months ago, Glorilla wasn't as hot as she is today. So what happened? I know this happened with Ice Spice. Ice Spice's team was going back trying to cancel shows because there was a time that Ice Spice allegedly was like, you know, some of her show prices was like, yo, you could have got her from for $15,000, right? Then she gets a lot bigger and she start doing 30, 40,000. But somebody might have booked you for like um, booked you months ago for the 15,000 rate. Are you still going to want to do that show for 15,000? Nah. So sometimes the artists will get a little, you know, creative. Oh, yeah, I can't make that show no more. Blah, 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 whatever, whatever. Try to send the money back. That's where you see a lot of lawsuits pop up. You feel me? It is what it is. You know, a lot of finessing when it comes to this live show game. The reason why there's going to be a lot of finessing, too, is like, again, this is how the artists make money. But, but Yo Gotti, he bossed up. He said, Ticketmasters, which which that's if, once you start doing the Ticketmaster thing and obviously hard tickets, that means that person could go on a tour. So what he's telling me is that, man, y'all niggas at that club is tweaking. Glorilla could actually go tour. Maybe not at a 2,000 venue, but she probably could pull out 800 people every in, in every city. I don't know. You tell me. All right.